Aloha, Aloha Falcons. Falcons. Today is September 15th, 2017, day B in your schedule. I'm Ellie Wilkinson. And I'm Elena Vodder. Birthday wish today go to Detroit Alphans, Dane Carter, Adriana Requinez, Victoria Wilson, and our very own Gabe Orhood. Saturday birthday wishes go to Nicholas Anderson, Sarah Griffin, Tyler Liddig, Gunnar Walsh, and our very own Riley Whitfield. Sunday birthday wishes go to Alexis Theohuridis. Happy birthday, everyone. FBLA will be meeting in the PLCU during Falcon Time September 21st, 22nd, and the 25th. This is an approved meeting. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Martin or Ms. Johnson. Did you miss this September's Beta Club meeting? If so, reach out to Mrs. Madden via email for a copy of the meeting agenda as well as an important letter about Beta Club. Next week is Spirit Week for Homecoming. Here's Kyla and Kelsey with more information. Tuesday is the first HOSA meeting of the year. If you are interested in going into the medical field, make sure you come to Mr. Foey's room during Falcon time. This Sunday, there will be a huge hall decorating competition at school from 4 to 9 p.m. The winning grade will receive an ice cream party. Come on out and bring some friends and decorations to help your class make the best hallway. Make sure your supplies are approved by Mrs. Holmes. It's that time of the week again. Here's the sports team with the weekly sports wrap-up. This past weekend, Preston Wheeler led the boys with a second place finish, and on the girls' side, Alex Hamner led the charge with a ninth place finish. Their next meet is the Stampede this Saturday in Joplin. Beginning in the Smithville Tournament on Tuesday, the soccer team lost 2-0 against Harrisonville. Then on Thursday, the boys lost to Smithville 2-0. Their next game is Saturday against Blue Springs South. Last Friday, the Falcons narrowly defeated Blue Springs South 41-37 on the road. Tonight, they look to continue their winning streak at home against Fort Osage at 7 p.m. Starting off this week on Tuesday, Staley defeated Northtown in two sets. Following that on Thursday, the Falcons won at Ruskin also in two sets. Their next game is this weekend at the Camden 10 Tournament. On Wednesday, the Staley swim team had a strong showing led by top three finishes by Charlie Duffy in the 50 meter free, Spencer Adamson in the 200 free, and Nick Viewers in the 200 individual medley. Their next meet is this weekend at Gladstone. In four games this week, the softball team scored 55 runs while only allowing six for a run differential of 49. Their next game is against Fort Osage on Monday at home. In the Oak Park Tournament on Monday, as a team, the girls placed 12th overall. Then at Kearney on Wednesday, the girls took first place and shot 180. Their next tournament is on Monday at Paradise Point in Smithville. On Saturday, the Lady Falcons took first place in the Winnetonka Tournament. Following that, on Tuesday, the Falcons defeated William Christman 9-0. Then on Wednesday, the Lady Falcons lost at Lee Summit 3-6. Finally, on Thursday, the tennis team won at Platte County 6-3. Their next match is this weekend in the Oak Park Tournament. For your SCTV Sports staff, this is Michael Loggerwell signing off. The Sideline Sports Talk Show will be at the DAC at 5.30. Show up in your Hawaiian gear and be ready to cheer on your Falcons. Well, that's all we have for you today, Staley. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and visit us online at StaleyNews.com. And don't forget to check out our YouTube channel for daily shows and more. Have a great day, everyone.